Working with our dental clients, we get asked very often, what is it going to take to go paperless? My first response is always, I'm glad you asked. Many people don't ask. And if you don't ask, you're not going to get the advice you need. It takes the coordination of many different systems that you probably have in play now, but you're going to have to take them to the next level to do the paperless trick. It's not that big of a process to go from a computerized office to using a paperless system, but if you have a poor base to start with, you're going to be very limited. So we first evaluate what software you have in the office. If you have a major uh, software package from a major dealer that has a lot of support, comes out with a lot of new features and is constantly growing and changing with what the marketplace needs, you're in a good position to go paperless. Now I've seen many offices try it on their own. I even had a doctor that brought in his, his dad and said, hey, here's your computer, here's your scanner, scan in all the charts off the wall. And he didn't ask anybody first. And he had the wrong scanner, and he had the wrong advice, and he had the wrong setup, and he had a dear sweet father in there working away for about three weeks to a month, and he absolutely filled his server, crashed his network, and could never undo the damage he did. Uh, he didn't ask first. So we had to help him out, but he has to carry around a lot of data forever that was scanned in. What most people don't realize is that you don't have to sit down and scan in all your charts from the wall. You can have a particular day and time when you go paperless. From that point forward, that's just how your practice works. And the best piece of advice I give clients is get training. You have to change how you use the system you have now to be paperless. That is the core component to use what that software already can do and use it accurately. You have patient care issues to worry about, you have legality, you have insurance, billing, and the overall health of the business is tied to that computer. And if it's not a coordinated system with a plan and a future, it's not going to go well. You can get yourself into some trouble. Once all that's pulled together and you're ready to pick a date and go forward, you're going to need some coordination from an IT provider. You're going to probably get some new computers. You're probably going to try to get something really cool in the front. Um, we had a client that moved into a new practice. They'd saved up and worked for it and expanded, and they'd planned for that day quite a bit. And the way it all worked out was amazing. We had uh, the build time of the practice to work in. We brought in touchscreen kiosks. We brought in uh, screens that are placed in the wall where they can consult with a parent in the corner while the child is in the op. And they can touch and move through images right there. It's very interactive. It's very engaging. And the sales result that they get from, the, from that computer implementation is amazing. And that's all just part of being paperless. One comes before the other. Sure, there's charts, there's forms, there's maybe a tablet you're going to use to check off health history or uh, process informed consent, but what you're probably more excited about is the sales tools, the consultation, the imaging, um, getting more communication done in less time using less space in your office. That's what gets people really excited after they go paperless. It's not that big of a challenge and the result is probably more than you're thinking.